Here we're dealing with the probability that the, the take rate will be the low end of the range, which is 30%. That had a probability of 0.4. When we looked at the single line graph that showed the optimum only, it wasn't obvious that there would be any change in the optimum decision over the range of 0.2 to 0.6 in the probability. But in this graph, it's clear that shortly before 0.6, the low investment strategy becomes preferred. Now in this graph, both lines are monotonically decreasing. As the probability of the low take rate increases, both the low investment and the high investment generate less expected profit. But the impact on the high investment is greater per unit change in the probability it's declining more steeply than the low investment. And you can see that graphically. And if we look at the charts, we can see a similar thing. When we go from numbers one, when it's 0.2, the expected value for the high investment is 8.16. That's 29% higher than the original value, which is 6.32. But even the low investment is higher than the original expected value at 7.18, which is 13.6% higher. As it drops, let's look at 0.8, probability is 0.51. The expected value with a high investment is now dropped to 5.97, almost 5.3, a 16% decline. And for the low investment, it's dropped to 5.13, a 19% decline. Compared to, in every case, we're comparing it to the original value, which is 6.32 million, not to the internal expected value for the low investment. At the ninth data point, when the probability is now 0.555, the expected value for the high investment is 4.88 million, and the low investment is almost the same, but slightly lower at 4.83 million. When we get to the last data point with a probability of 0.6, the expected value for the high investment is 4.48, and now the low investment is $4.54 million, which is 28% less than 6.32. If you wanted to see more clearly where the actual intersection point is, when you set up the input, instead of specifying 10 intervals, you might have specified 20 or 30. But from the purposes of sensitivity analysis, it's not really that critical where exactly that probability lies. You're just trying to get a sense of what would happen if you, your estimates were significantly off in terms of the probability of a low take rate. Again, this is more uncertainty with regard to the technology associated with the high investment. We felt the estimates of the variable cost could be off by 10%, plus or minus 10%. The base value was $14 per unit, a decrease of 10%. It could drop to 12.6 or as high as 15.4. Notice when you get between $15 and $15.5, the preferred solution switches from high to low. Again, we're varying a parameter that is linked to the high investment decision. Therefore, it has a monotonically decreasing slope. That parameter is not at all linked to the low investment decision, and that's why the red line is parallel to the x-axis. Again, we have the strategy region data. The high investment column continuously changes as the input changes, going from 6.9 million down to 5.73 million. The low investment is not impacted. It's always at 5.86. And you'll notice at the ninth point, which in the graph is the triangle, the ninth point with a high investment, since the variable cost is $15.09, the high investment is $5.862 million, and the low investment is 5.86. They're almost equal, and were the variable costs to increase slightly more to 15.4, clearly the low investment becomes preferred. So only at the extreme end of the range would the decision change. You'd have to be off by more than 7.78% in your estimate of the variable costs.